Okay, the last thing I want to tell you about is how to uh, sort of send an order through. Now this is, uh, I'm just going to have an email and send from the system. If you want to learn how to use PayPal or something, I recommend you go and do that from the uh, credit card system. So I'm not overly familiar with them, so it'll just have to do this um, for now. But I'll add two things, so it should be happening with Jim's and Indiana Jones. The next one will work to that. Um, okay, so that's all set up. Uh, from the yeah, review chart. So when you click on when you click on this send order, the method will be run which is this. Um, and basically this is just setting up a new mail message over here. Uh, a new mail message with the to, uh, the from, so that'll be your store or whatever. Um, to, so that'll be to you, your personal account or something. Orders received, that, so that'll be the body, or the subject, sorry. And this will be the body. Um, and then the client, that'll be Gmail or Hotmail, it wouldn't be localized if you're using the website. And it's going to run in this in try and catch method. Um, it's going to do that because it can't, you catch it, uh, it doesn't work, you can just write an error out, but otherwise it's going to send the email and then from there it will be sent to this order confirmation page. Um, okay, now you'll notice up here that I've actually done. Um, basically a method in the general shopping cart. That's basically because it's got all the information in it. So what this will do is it'll declare a string output. An order has been received. Um, then for each of the items in the items uh, or shopping item list of the, the message will have a uh, format, you know, uh, and it will be the uh, string dot format, and then the parameters you put that uh, just start off by putting rotation in there, and then item quantity, and then comma item name, comma item cost, and then comma item pro total price. And then from here, you can put whatever you like in here, but I've put in a uh, square bracket, uh, circle bracket starting off with zero, it's like no, right, two, three, um, as the data. Uh, if you want cost, you put a semicolon and then C, you know, afterwards, and that'll make the format be dollars. And then finally, at the end, the total order cost is um, get subtotal, which is a method that you got just here, which adds up the total price got to string and then return that as a message and that will be of course in the body um, of the text. So it's just a simple way of doing it and you know what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, so from here that's how you run it. Um, you need this label here for the text and you need a button and I'm pretty sure that's everything you need. Um, uh, yeah, and I guess thanks for watching, and that's it.